babe. smile on your face. I can see I got a yes. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. You got a maybe. Yes, you got a yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to spend forever with you, baby. Me too. I made you breakfast in bed. Oh, breakfast in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is so sweet. Yep. Where's yours? It's my treat to you, baby. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, do you want to try it? Babe, this is so beautiful. It's perfect. Yeah. It suits your finger so well. You know, I was scared you were going to wake up at night when I was trying to put it in there. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. I love you. So, try it and tell me what you think. <laughs> Chef de la cuisine. Yep. <laughs> you sure you don't want? No, baby, it's yours. <laughs> well, you don't trust my cooking. <laughs> Come in. Hey, mom. I thought you wouldn't return again. No, today. come to your room. <laughs> It's just two days. I was coming to your room to say hello. I didn't know you'd be going out. You look nice. <laughs> You're fine too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, guess what? What? I wanted to tell you something. Guess. Guess. Um. Okay. Okay. Um... We are finally going to Dubai for a vacation as you promised. No. <laughs> Ta-da! Only now. Can I finally propose? And I said yes! <laughs> you made that clear already. But you're not marrying that boy. What? You see that boy? You're not marrying the boy. Huh? I'm off to work. Mommy, mommy, are you pulling my legs? I'm fine, babe. Believe me, I'm I'm okay. Are you sure? Maybe the movie you're editing is a sad one. That's why you sound cold. No, babe, it's just I've been working on this project and the deadline is around the corner. I need to submit it and I just finished sequencing. I have to wait for the sound score. I need to do the subtitle. I need to confirm the cast list. It's just a lot going on. Oh dear. Don't 
Don't stress your pretty head much, Joe. Get some rest. You always meet your deadline. I trust you. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Uh, uh, how is mom? You didn't even tell me how she reacted to our engagement. She must have been more excited than you. Yes. Um, uh -huh. She... <laughs> She was uh, excited. <laughs> Welcome, Mommy. Thank you. Let me say hi to Mommy. Mm? Um, the thing is, n I don't think now is a good time. She... We'll talk about it later, okay? I love you. Good night. And thank you. I'm good. to discuss. Discuss about what? So, I may be confused, mommy. I shared the news about my engagement and you totally dismissed it. So, what part of you can't marry that boy is getting you confused? Why can't I marry Kemen? What's wrong with Kemen? You actually thought I was joking when I said I am against your relationship with that boy. Well, mommy, what did Kemen do to you? Why are you against our relationship? I don't understand. You've been fully aware of this relationship. We've been friends for, what, over five years? And we've been dating for two years. You've been aware of every visit of his to this house. So I, I really thought you approved of this relationship. I never approved anything. I merely tolerated it. Wow. This is unbelievable. Honey, I sing it often. I sing it every day to your ears. Don't bring home any man from that tribe. No, I told you that. I will never allow anybody related to me to marry from the tribe after Amata. I told you that. What is wrong with people from that tribe? Men from that tribe matrix their whites. They enslave them. Are you not aware of your aunt's marriage? So, I will never, ever let you make that same mistake Amata made. Do you understand? No, I don't understand. I find it hard to believe that a woman as educated and exposed as you would say such a thing. Mommy, what after the education and the mentorship that you've given to me? Oh. This is this is a level of discrimination that I don't understand. How can you how can you stereotype in such a way? It's an unfair generalization, mommy, and it is very unfair to Kemen. You know how much I love him, and I'm going to marry him. Really? Yes. Yeah. If you're done educating me about what I should know about people's tribe, then you let me know. Anyways, I will not and will never, I repeat it again, I will never allow you get married from that tribe. Not under my watch. You will not marry that boy, Kemen, or whatever you call him. Do you understand me? It is not happening. Hey, babe. How 
We was wrong. So something has been bothering me for the past couple of weeks. Okay, um, what is it? Is it work? Are we need to get me worried. What is it? It's my mom. What was wrong with her? Is she sick? No, she's. She's against the idea of us getting married. <laughs> Why? Did I do something wrong? No, no. You didn't do anything wrong. Okay, remember how I always tease and joke about how my mom said I should never get married to someone from your tribe? Well, apparently, it turns out she meant every word of it. I understand the stigma from my tribe and how our men maltreat their wives. But come on, we've, we've come a long way and your mom, she should know me by now. She should know that I'm, I'm different, I'm not like that. I know, I know you. And I've tried to make her see reason, but she's just, she's been so stubborn and difficult. I don't know what to do because I've always wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Um. So maybe, maybe I should, I should accompany you. We should go together. So I should try probably to convince her. Maybe say something or just talk about it or something. You know? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Just leave it to me. Give me some time. I will talk to her and help her see that you're different. You're different from the man that her sister got married to. You're different from the other men who have married women from your tribe, you are different. You are my Kemen, and you're not them. Okay? Honestly, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Me too. Babe, don't be like that, okay? She's my mom. I'll speak to her, I'll make her see reason. We just, we just need to give it time. Okay, let's not give up. Your mom. Oh, okay. Hello, mommy. Are you returning home tonight or should I lock my doors? Yeah, I'm coming back home. You know, I always had a hunch that your mom hates me. But you said I was overthinking. My mom doesn't hate you. But she hates where I'm from. <laughs> What's the difference? Don't be like that, Kim in. Hmm? She'll come around. I know my mom, she loves me and she'll love you very soon. I hope so. Because I really want your mom to love me and accept me the way my family love and accept you as well. She will. I trust you. You're a good man. She'll see it with time. I would have loved to stay, but Mama calls, so I have to go. <laughs> I totally understand. We have to do everything to be on our good side. Yes. Okay, I'll drop you off. Hey, Mom. 
Um, please, uh, the groceries in the kitchen are almost exhausted. Okay. I'll need you to go to the mall and replace them for me, please. Okay. All right. Let All me right. just save what I was working on. Um, and what is this thing still doing on your finger? Mom. Do you know you're wasting your time thinking this will work? You better return this ring to that boy. Oh, mommy. Mommy, please. Have you considered my emotions here, the feelings that I have for Kemen? I love him with all my heart. Please. Honey, your feelings will only mislead you and you'll end up in a terrible marriage just like your aunt. Mommy, my, Use your head. my feelings are valid. And so is Kemen. Kemen did choose to be born from his tribe. He can't change that. What if, what if his parents don't accept me because of where I come from? I've heard people say that women from our, our tribe are, are irresponsible. What if they, they reject me for the same but reason? you are responsible, honey. I brought you up responsibly. My point exactly. Kemen was brought up responsibly. He's a great man. He's kind. He's caring. He treats me like a queen. He loves me with all his heart. Mommy, please. He's not violent. I know him. I've known him for over five years. Can you just let me marry Kemen? Honey, relationship and marriage are never the same. Do you understand? Honey, you claim he loves you and he treats you like a queen. The same way his father treated his mother like a queen. And why are they separated? Oh, please don't give me that, Mom. I'm talking about getting married to Kemen. I'm sorry. Mommy, please, I just want to marry Kemen. Please. Well? I don't know what else to tell you like your mother. I've told you everything you need to know about this tribe. But I can see your hell bent on marrying Kemi. There's no problem. Go ahead and marry him. But let me tell you one thing. I will never support your marriage to Kemi. And I'm not going to give you my blessings. Do you understand me? Nonsense. That's the reason she doesn't want you to marry her daughter. No, that's lame. Yeah. And to think that she was aware of our relationship all this while, but only waited for me to propose to her before she could say this. Bro, I don't even know how to think or feel right now. See, um, if, if someone doesn't want you to marry her daughter, then just let it go. What nonsense are you saying? You know how I feel about Honey and she feels about me too. But she doesn't feel that you're worth it. She doesn't feel you're worth marrying her daughter. That's a slap on her face. Like, who does she even think she is? Hey, hey, watch your tongue. That's my mother-in-law we are talking about. Oh, how do you think our parents will feel if they hear about these accusations, huh? Yeah, I know. Look, that's why they must not hear about this now, okay? At least not now. See, bro, the last thing I want you to do is to walk down the aisle with a woman that the mother doesn't approve. It doesn't make sense, bro. See, don't even fight it, okay? We could just, we could just go around, look around. There are many fishes in the river. Go around, there are many fishes in the river. Just search. Nye, 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 nye. I don't expect you to understand what I feel, at least until you can find someone to love and be in these shoes that I am. You will never understand it. See, well, the day my girl tells me that her mother doesn't approve me of marrying her, that's the same day I'm taking back my ring. <laughs> Bro, no girl feed you chakra for me. For money, I will still spend on top. It's not possible, not too fresh. My honey and I, we are keeping our hopes alive. You know, I'm beginning to think that this might just not be about me. Yeah, you know, Honey is like the only child her mother has. And um, I'm feeling maybe she's feeling she'll be alone if I get married to her. Do you get? Can you listen to yourself? 
and just, just listen to yourself. Then you're just making excuses for this woman, right? Huh? She literally insulted the family. In fact, bro, I disapprove of this. That's what? My friend better shut up. Besides, I think we should blame those our community men. You know, people only have this opinion of us because they feel our men enslave their women. Big bro, better let this girl go now that it's still early. If the mother says no, then let her go. You know, I'm beginning to regret bringing you into this. In fact, let's forget we had this conversation, okay? And mind you, if our parents hear about this, I'll be mad at you. Say, bro, I will always tell you the truth, even if you find it upsetting. Nobody can insult our family, let alone our tribe. I said he won't allow any of our family members visit her again. He said none of us should step our foot into our house. Hey. I said she brought this upon herself. Hey, do you know how many times they've tried to rescue her with police, but she refused. I've told her to leave. She will always tell me, hey, how do I want her to leave? Where do I want her to leave her children? And who is going to take care of her children? Onzia. So then if she dies from that maltreatment is giving her, who will take care of the children? Onye? Good afternoon. Hey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll call you back. What are you doing here? Is it that Honey didn't tell you that I disapprove of your engagement with her? Actually, no, she did. She did? Then why are you here? No. <sighs> Honey and I, we've, we've come a long way loving each other, and I love her so much, and I'm sure she loves me just as much. So I should allow my daughter to end up in a family that she will suffer? Oh, God forbid, ma. I love her so much, I, I can't let her suffer. Ma, you know me. I don't know you. Why are your parents separated? Why did your mother leave your father? Ma, that was on a different circumstance. They were not just compatible. Get out. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You know I don't like it. Um, Ma, please, I want to marry her. I have seen a lot in my 51 years of existence. <laughs> there are so much honey doesn't know. And I am here to guide her. When one marries wrong, they are wrong for life. And I will not watch my daughter get into the marriage that will ruin her. I let you become friends with her because I thought it would end at that. And now, I realize I made a previous mistake and I'm here to correct that. I will not, never, let my daughter make a mistake that will ruin her. She's not going to marry you. Leave my house. I will not want you again. Let this be the last you will ever step your foot in my house again. Kimmy. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about my mom's reaction. She's just, she's emotional because her sister is dealing with a lot in her marriage and just give her some time. A moment every what she said. She's not going to allow us to marry each other. 
you know, you know, I'm thinking we should do this for us. Yeah, we are adults and mm -hmm. this decision, we can take it ourselves. Like I'm sure with time she will come around, she will, she will accept it. I don't think I can get married without my mom's consent. I need her blessing. She's all that I have. Did you not just hear when she said I should not step foot into this house again? How much time do you want us to give her again? to go there and get the... Uh, you expecting someone? No. Who could that be? Okay, let me go check. Hey. Hey, Ifyong. So much. If young and I were about stepping out, you, you can join us if you want to. <clears throat> um I came so we could talk. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's sit. No, I can't sit. This will be quick. Um, look, Kevin, heaven knows that I've prayed more than anything to be called your wife. But now it seems that I just have to let you go. Let me go? What are you saying, baby? The past couple of weeks have been so difficult. I've been trying my best to convince my mother to give us her blessing. But she won't listen. Her mind is already made up. Baby. And I can't disobey her. This is not fair. Okay, this is not fair. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, you know, what can I do to convince her that I'm different? Nothing. You can't do anything. I have tried my best. I have said everything. I have done everything. Her mind is made up. There's nothing we can do. No. No, honey. You're giving up on us. No. This, look, this is by far the hardest decision that I've ever had to make in my entire life. But it's for the best. No, how could this be for the best? You're leaving me. I have to do this, Kemet. What is marriage without my mother's blessing? She's everything that I have. I, I, I want to be with you, but not without her support and her blessing. And as much as I love you, I won't, I won't allow you to live with the guilt of, of separating a mother from her daughter. Honey, please. Honey, please, I beg you. We've come too far. So let go like this. Please, I beg you, don't. Don't leave me. No, 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 no. 
I'm no. sorry. Honey. Honey. My love. Bro, oh, she's gone. Honey has left me. Oh, it's okay. Just like that. It's okay. It's okay. Just like it's okay. You'll be fine, okay? Just like that. You will be fine. Honey, I've returned his ring. Come sit. Sit down. Honey, please don't hate me. I will be a bad mother if I don't protect you from getting your hands burnt in fire. Mommy, I'm tired of arguing with you. I'm tired of trying to prove to you that Kemen is different. You've gotten what you wanted. You can throw a party now. Don't talk to me in that tone. <laughs> and just so you know, I will never fall in love with any other man. Don't even think of having a son-in-law, much less a grandchild. It will never happen, mommy. I'm never getting married. What nonsense are you talking about? Watch your tongue. Don't lay a curse on yourself simply because you're blinded by emotions right now. Cayman is not the only man out there. You are going to find a man that is deserving of you. I won't. I won't find any other man because I love Cayman. I love him with everything in me, with every breath in me. I will never love any other man. I'd rather have you in peace than have you in pieces. You are not living anywhere. You are not living here until I confirm your debit. Is it that it's now mad men that they put as taxi drivers because I don't understand? How dare you lay your filthy hands on me? You are very stupid to, to, 
to you say that to me. You are a madman. You are a madman looking for an excuse to, to insult me. You are the one that's stupid. Touch me one more time. Madam, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. hey, come on, man. That's no way to treat a lady. Exactly. That's no way to treat a lady. Oga, okay. put your mouth for your pocket. I have to pay my money. What money? I already paid this man. They debited my account and they sent me an alert. Look. Hey, what's up? She, look, she's been debited now. You just relax. Your, you'll see your money in a bit. You can't fake this now. Bro, I'm not going anywhere. And this woman is not going anywhere until I see my own alert with my Kurokoro eyes. You won't do this shit. Look at what single shit. Now why you drag her for clothes? Kukuma drag her for weeks. She's not a woman now. How much is this money? It's just 4,000 naira. 4,000 naira, you want to kill me? Just 4,000 naira, imagine that. Fact, let me even call my bank, because I don't like such embarrassment. What's that? No. No, what's wrong with these banks? It's just 4,000. Thank you. What? Thank you. See, just thank your stars, stupid slave. No, just imagine this. You know, get money, you want that app. I hope, you know what? I'm going to get you poorly on that app, and you'll see. I hope that this money, this money fattens you, because you are just a hungry lion. Useless change. Nonsense. But you zero, zero. Bad driver. I'm so sorry about that. Please, can you send me your account number so I'll just do a transfer? Oh, no, don't worry about that. I just don't like seeing where ladies have been harassed or treated poorly. Are you... I insist. No, don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> My gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Now, this, this, this crazy man has gone with 8,000 naira. Just forget the money. For his I, bad I, behavior. I was the one that paid him. It's okay. So I'm, I'm came in. Honey. Hmm. I like the one from bees. I think I'm sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is my brother, my brother F. Young. Hey. Hi. Nice to meet you, F. Young. Same here. Okay. So um, um, do you mind if I wait for you to come out? Really? you wait for me? Yeah, hopefully you won't be too long. Uh, sure. Um, I won't be too long, actually. I just came to submit a video I'm editing for the company. We had a few corrections. So okay, I... cool. So I'll just wait. My car is over there. Oh, you're so kind. I try. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So... Um, hurry up, man. Sure. All right. So wait. You want us to wait for a woman instead of going home? <laughs> if you cannot wait, guy, you feel that taxi now. Just go out. I'll meet you at home, okay? My car. You get car. Is it your car? My car, my rules are big. You don't see woman. You don't dash money. Now we're waiting for her. You gotta come, let's go. strong charm for you to have made my brother wait this long. <laughs> I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, it's fine. Don't mind you. Yeah, it's usually like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it's good to see siblings that actually get along with each other. The ones I know are usually on each other's necks. <laughs> don't say that. You don't want to see me and my other brother fighting. We are going to shock you. <laughs> <laughs> so you and your siblings don't get along? The thing is, I'm the only child. That explains everything. <laughs> explains what? You kept all the beauty for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. But I meant it, so you're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I was meaning to ask, how did you get cash? You know, it's so hard to come by these days. Oh, I'm a bank manager. Oh, bank manager. Yeah. 
So, um, I can always help out with cash whenever you need it. At least, um, if you would want to be my friend. I see the, the proposition here. Oh, oh <laughs> no, I... Friendship for cash, okay? No, no, I, I, I didn't mean it that way. Just... <laughs> I'll just jump on any opportunity to be your friend. Okay. You seem like a good guy, so... For your number. Oh, yeah. So the estate, should I continue? Yeah, so let's, oh. sorry, right, right, right. Okay, right, okay, right, 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 right here. Yeah, right here. Okay. Big bro! Just concentrate on driving it. <laughs> Big Bo, for how long do you intend doing this to yourself? Just leave me alone. I should just leave you alone. You and I know it's not possible. Don't go giving yourself hypertension out of thinking. It changes nothing. So how am I supposed to start all over? without money. Because I built my entire future. I built my whole life around her. She has resigned to fate that you both are not meant to be together. So deal with it. She gave up so easily. She didn't even put up this, this bit of a fight. And why is she fighting? Fighting changes nothing. And this was the best decision she could make. Move on. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's go clubbing, huh? Today is Friday. Let's go dance and wine. I'll hook you up with some girls, hmm? What do you think? I'm not interested. You're not interested? You want me to go alone? Then I'll go alone. I said I'll go alone. Just go leave me alone. Love is to be me and you. Now what is love without you? I'm losing my mind and I'm trying so hard not to freak out. And I can't let you go, this is something I try hard to swallow. How can I un la 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 love, la 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 love you? How is work? Why are you leaving? Nothing. Does my presence now ache you? I want to work in my room. What did I do wrong? Don't be like this. We can always talk on the phone. This is my mother's phone number. She said I can give her phone number to my friend since I'm changing schools. 
Why is it now that your parents have to transfer to another state? Like, why? Why is it now? My father is a public servant. He has been transferred and it comes with a higher pay. Then tell me, just tell me, who will I be hanging around with during the break period? Who? I understand. I'll miss you too. I don't even know how I'll adapt to my new school. Tony, I will miss you. Like, I will miss you. So does it mean that from Monday I won't be seeing you in school? Don't worry. I know we will meet again. I should not worry. Does that mean that what we share you what's nothing to you? You have to go to the class. I have to leave now. Bye. Tolane. Tolane. Hold on, wait, please, wait, please, wait. What do you want? Why are you acting like you have ever cared about me? Hey, come on, you know that's not true. Enough with the pretense, Kemen. I waited for you to call. I prayed for you to call. You didn't even call once. I even thought my sister was lying at first. I didn't call because I misplaced your number. Yeah, and I didn't know. I, I, I lost it immediately after we said our goodbyes. Liar. Look, I swear. I swear on everything. I lost the paper where you wrote your number on, and I couldn't find it. I didn't know your house address, and I, I didn't know how else to reach you. Well, how? How did you lose it? I don't know. I was broken. You put me through a lot, Kemen. I failed my exam that term. I thought you did not call on purpose. I thought every nice thing you said to me was a lie. God, sorry. Very sorry. So what will you have so they could get it for you? I ate already. I was done. I was about leaving. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> wow. This feels like a dream. I can't believe I'm sitting right next to Tolani. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I've been in this town for five months and I'm just running into you for the first time. You live here now? Yeah, I relocated like five months ago. Oh, but your family still stays in PH. My dad passed. Wow. Sorry about that. It's okay. We'll pass that now. Plus, I feel like I needed a new environment, so I just decided to relocate. Plus, my business is doing way better here anyways. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you do? I have a skincare brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I'm a bank manager with Lion Bank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I have a couple of business here and there. Well, that's not surprising at all. You have always been a numbers guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's surprising is the fact that you're not married. Oh. You know, I would have been preparing for my wedding ceremony now. It just didn't work out. I'm sorry, what happened? My mom. She believes I'm not good for her. <laughs> she says men from my tribe are not good men, that they enslave their wives. Wow, that's a cake. People are different. Unfortunately, she does not share that ideology. <sighs> yeah. But what about you? Yes, I'm very much single. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, so you're really here. <laughs> In the flesh. Mm. There you go. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is very nice. You live here alone? Yeah, I do. Although my brother, F. Young, you know him, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I do. yeah. He breezes in and out once in a while. Nice. Yeah. So please um sit. I'll get you something to drink, okay? Um I never thought I'll see you again. <sighs> Me too. You know, I searched your name on social media, but I couldn't find you. That's because I'm T girl on social media. 
I searched for you too. I didn't find you. Yeah, that's because I'm only on Twitter mm -hmm. as trusted cashman. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Plus, you didn't change much. You still have your charming, innocent eyes. Uh -huh. Thank you. And you're still as beautiful as a Christmas morning. <laughs> Thank you. Here we are again. Yeah. Don't you think the universe is trying to tell us something? Um, I'll get that drink, okay? Okay. Familiar, uh, mm. colleague from the bank? No, Talani Ogunde from Common Secondary School. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Your secondary school classmates and girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Wait, you lost a contact. <laughs> so, how did you guys meet again? In a small world. Mm. So, um, you've been in town all this while? No, no, no. I just moved back recently. Okay, okay. Um, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Too. <laughs> uh, I remember how my brother always spent his <laughs> pocket money with me. <laughs> well, he was in love, so. Uh, okay, you know what? I have fun down there. Uh, I need to drop off a bit. Oh, you're discharging me? Yes, I am. I'll see you. <laughs> Bye. See you soon, yeah. So, uh, is she married or seen anyone? No, I don't know for sure though, but why are you asking me that? Case closed. She walked back into your life the points that you needed saving. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Okay, do you think it's by chance that she's still single? Probably it didn't work between you and honey because it wasn't meant to be in the first place. Look. I just sent you your first love again. I still love honey. I think about her every day. Bro, this girl has moved on. You should also find your spread roots. God is even kind enough to send you back your first love again. Well, I don't know if I still feel the same way about her, honey. I still love honey. Then channel that love to Tolani. Big bro. You know, if you give this love a chance, it might still work out. Or doesn't she feel the same way about it? I don't know. She tried to kiss me. You see? <laughs> but I turned it down. You turned it down? You know what for you now, eh? This is the opportunity for you to have freaking do this love. You know, so they say, now I will go on the ball faster, guy. <laughs> You're the slack, anyhow. <laughs> Bro! Honey. How are you? Good morning, Mommy. It's evening, honey. You wouldn't know when you're lying down all day indoors. My goodness, you're running temperature. Have you had something to eat? I'm not hungry. I lost my appetite. Honey, you have been admitted in the hospital twice this month. And it's getting me worried. Huh? Mommy, I'm fine. How? 
You're fine like this. Eh? When I don't see you go out like you used to, you don't do anything. You just keep sleeping. I, I don't even see you editing films on your laptop anymore. What is going on? What am I supposed to do? I don't have any editing jobs. I'm, I'm, there's no movie to edit. I don't have any film to edit. I don't have any project. How do you expect your clients to return when you keep disappointing them by not meeting the deadlines? Huh? Honey, why are you doing this? Is it because of K-Men? <sighs> what is it? What is wrong with her, please? Are you okay, honey? What is what is actually wrong with this girl? Eh? This is not the girl I baited. Look at her looking so thin, so, 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 so unkept and unhealthy. Baby, baby, just get dressed. Let me take you to the hospital, please. Mm -mm. I'm tired of going to the hospital. You're tired of going to the hospital and you're like this? You're sick. Look at you, you're running temperature. Let me take you to the hospital. Mommy, I don't want to go to the hospital. Then stop being sick if you don't want to go to the hospital again. Please. Eh? Baby, let me get you something to eat, okay? Something just light. When you look at what you're doing to yourself, just look at the way you are. You're thinking too much. And overthinking is not good for you. It's not good for your health. What is it? What do you want me to do? Nothing, Mom. I'm fine. I just, I find myself drifting away. Help this is this is wrong. What you're doing to me? You're no longer the happy girl I used to know. We are no longer happy in this family. Just look at the way you're looking so tattered and so unkempt. What is it? Is it because of Kim? Listen, honey. Listen. Look at me. I can say you love Kamen so much. You love him so much that you want to marry him. <sighs> and if, if marrying him will make you happy, I give my consent. Marry him. Hmm? Yes. Mommy, are you serious? Very serious. It's, it's so obvious that you, you are looking this miserable because of him. So I need you to marry him and be happy. All I want is your happiness. Are you sure you will let me marry Kemet? Don't just marry him. I will also take him like my own son and support your marriage and then give you my blessings. Just be happy for me. Me, are you serious? I am very serious. Thank you. I can't afford to be saying like this. For my only child, since marrying Carmen will make you happy, it's okay. It's fine. I just hope we don't regret this. You won't regret it. Carmen is a good man. Thank you. How can I? Um, okay. So, um, 
Do you still have feelings for me? I know we're very young when we fell in love and we probably didn't even know what we felt. But since I met you again, I realize I still have feelings for you. My whole being longs for you, Kemen. This past few weeks of reconnecting with you has been the best time of my life. Yeah. It's been very amazing for me too. Wow, well, I know you feel the same. <laughs> Can I speak freely? Of course. Go on. I've not been able to get over my ex. It's been hard. It's okay. You just need time. You'll get over her. Don't you want me? I think we're meant to be together. Welcome, my young people. Hi, Pyong. How are you? Good. And look at you. See how you're glowing. <laughs> and look at my elder brother. He has really added. What are you feeling, this guy? Mm. You only just to breeze in and out anytime he suits you, like you're like my uh, what flatmate or something. I was not calling my key from you. See you sipping juice and eating cookies. Big bro, let me enjoy it while it lasts. Because I know once you get married, I won't be allowed to come here. <clears throat> Babe, let me get my stuff. Okay, I'll wait for you. Uh, you are not staying the night? No, I have some cream to produce. But don't worry, I'll be over for the weekend. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Where's the pack of the juice? But honestly, bro, you are looking way better than the last time I checked. She's really taking good care of you. <laughs> Well, she's actually trying, but she can't cook, so it's not her food. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say she can't cook? Yeah. Also the fish. Come on. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is I can cook, we can order out, and we can also employ a cook. So it doesn't really matter, okay? Wait, wait. Are you being serious right now? Yeah. Um. My drink. Go pour yourself another one. Guess what? Guess, just guess. 
<laughs> okay, let me tell you. My mom has finally given us her blessing. We can get married. <laughs> oh my gosh. Babe, what's going on? Finally, we can be together. Okay, I I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry it took my mom this long to realize that we're made for each other to, to finally give us her blessing and her permission. You know, I've been useless without you. I've literally been in and out of the hospital. All I've had to do was just think about you every day and try to live one day at a time because I couldn't stop thinking about you. <sighs> Babe, aren't you happy? What's, what's wrong? Say something. <laughs> so I should be dancing at the news? After you, you left me, you gave me back my ring. You told me to move on. I'm sorry. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. You gave up on us. No. Babe, don't say that. I didn't give up on us, okay? I just... I know how it's, how important it is for us to have our parents' blessing. And I didn't want to fight with my mom. You know she's all that I have. Okay, but all that is over. It's in the past. Finally, we can be together. And you should be happy. Aren't you happy? Babe, what's wrong? Are you okay? Okay, I understand how you feel. I must have hurt you, I know. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I miss you. I miss you so much. Don't you miss me? Wait. She thinks she could come back into your life anytime she wants. Jokes on her. You know, I was thinking like, what if, or just maybe I moved on too quickly. Oh my God, she returned the ring. She wasn't picking your calls. And here you are trying to blame yourself. Bro, you did nothing wrong. Bro, I'm in the fix right now. I honestly don't know what to do. You are the one making this all difficult for yourself. Just Tell her that she, she came in too late. Yeah, you moved on, she came in late. At least let her mother go find someone else who is more befitting for her. Uh -huh. um, you, you do realize that in all of this, none of it is, is honey's fault, right? Wait, 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 bro. Don't tell me you're contemplating taking this girl back. What about Tolani? You want to break up with, with Tolani just because Honey came back. But I still love Honey very much. And Tolani is your first love. Moreover, you said that her family doesn't have issue with our community, so... See, bro. If you break this girl's heart, I won't forgive you. That. <laughs> Babe, did you see that? Babe, are you okay? Yeah, uh, I was just thinking about something. About what? Um. Won't you take that? Uh, no, it's work. It's just leave it. It's distraction. So, what happened? She rejected the flower. Yes, she did. She even gave the flower to her friend right in front of him. Said so she doesn't have use for it. Can you imagine? <laughs> um, you know what? I should probably just take it. it might be important. Okay. Hello. Hey. I wanted to come over for the weekend. You are what? 
No, 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 no. Look, you can't. I'm, I, I'm not around, okay? Okay. Where are you? Um. I, uh, I went out. I went. I'm hanging out with my friends. Yeah, some of my colleagues. Um, the house is quite full. F Young is is here with his girlfriend. Oh wow. It's a pity. I actually made your favorite meal and I wanted to bring it over. Um that's nice. So maybe I should bring it tomorrow. Um how about I call you when the house is less choked up so you can come around, right? <laughs> okay, no problem. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Love is to be me and you. Now what is love without you? I'm losing my mind and I'm trying so hard not to freak out. And I can't let you go because there's something yeah. something I want us to talk about. Okay. When his mom finally gave her approval for us to get married. Come on, are, are you breaking up with me? No. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? You you don't want me anymore. You want to go back to her? No. no listen, Talani. I am just confused, okay? I don't know how to tell her that I've moved on. It will break her heart so much. It will break her heart or you don't know how to tell her that you have moved on, which... Kim, anyway, the reason we lost contact in the first place, I don't think I can bear to lose you for a second time. It's okay. I don't want you to be sad, okay? You're not losing me. And I'm not losing you either. Okay. Let's just find a way to talk to her, please. out again. I thought you said you were going to Kame's house. He's not, he's not home. Why are you saying like this? What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know if I'm overthinking things or if he's just different. Why? What's different about him? I told him I'll be coming over and he didn't even sound excited. He said he was going to hang out with his friends and that's unlike him. It's almost as if he didn't want to see me. Why? Is he hiding anything? I don't know if he's hiding anything. He misses my call very often these days, and I don't know. I was, I was kind of hoping that maybe he was thinking of doing a proposal again. But now I fear that maybe I've lost him. If you've lost him, that means he never really wanted to marry you. Here we go again, mommy. Then confront him! Have a conversation with him and stop sitting here eating yourself up.
Wait, is it just onion that you're cutting? <laughs> That's put your face like it wants to rain. <laughs> I hate the smell of onion. Don't see how red my eyes are. Uh, but you do know that you have to learn these things, right? Why? We can always just employ a maid that can cook and clean. <laughs> See, you know, I, I get it, right? I get the stress involved in doing chores, but I still feel like it's basic knowledge, you know? You have to learn them, at least know them. Even if you're not going to use the idea in the future, but you just know them, oh? All right? At least I can slice onion. You can slice onion? Yeah. <laughs> this is the one you slice. <sighs> you're not going to take the call? It's your mom. I know. I'm really not in the mood for her drama. Don't worry, I'll call her back later. Why is she calling? What else if not financial assistance? Well, since my dad died, things have been pretty hard. Now all my mom does is call me for money. I usually give it to her, but I don't have it right now. Oh my God. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm sending you some money to send to her. I I still have your account number from the last time, right? Babe, you know you don't have to do that. Actually, I should. You know, when our parents ask us for something, especially money, it's because they're in dire need of it. I don't put your face like that. I know if you had, you would send it to her, so. Thank you very much. It's nothing. So I just sent you some, I sent you more than she would need, I Ooh. believe. So you send her some and keep the rest, okay? Okay, thank you. <sighs> this onion, is that payment for the onion? <laughs> this, this is no, torture. I cannot pay you for this. This you should pay me for teaching you how to cook and how to cut onion. <laughs> I'm expecting anyone. Thank you. Hi, Kimman. What's going on? If I didn't know better, I would have thought you were avoiding me. Like what? Who is she? Um, <clears throat> Cameron. I was um, waiting for a good time to tell you. To tell you this. So tell me what? Cameron, hmm? to tell me what? I am. Um, <clears throat> okay, she. She. She is my um, first love, and uh, we started seeing each other again. Already. What about us, Cameron? Just tell me this is a joke, okay? Tell me this is a bad joke that, you know, you're just pulling my legs and she's a film's girlfriend. You, you know we belong together now, eh? We belong together. Don't do this to me. I, you know, I can't live without you. Come in. It wasn't me saying words when you said it the first time. I wasn't talking to you. Come in, please. Um, look, look at me. Come look honey, at me. Honey. Babe. Do not make this harder than it is. Babe, please now. Don't, don't do this to us, okay? What we have is genuine, it's real. Are you just going to let her come between us? Please, talk to me. Please. Like it's too late for that, okay? It's too late. Amen. It's... I know you're 
you're feeling like you moved on too fast. You didn't. You did nothing wrong. Okay? That's it. Just give me a minute. You're back? This is all your fault, Mom. You did this to me. What are you talking about? I lost him. I lost the only man that I love because of you, Mom. Because of you, I'll never forgive you. Never. Honey. What you mean? Go away, Bob. Go. Just go away and leave me alone. You better don't act irrationally in there. Open the door. Let's talk about it. Please. Talk about what? There's nothing to talk about. We're talking about to delete the woman in his life. What is there to talk about? I begged you. I pleaded with you. Let me marry Keme. Now look, he has moved on. Oh, so while you are here being miserable, he, he already moved into another woman's arms? So much for his love for you. I hope you can now see his true colors. It's all your fault. You're the one to blame for everything. I hate you, Mom. I begged you to allow me to marry Ken, my mommy. It took you over a month to finally see with him. Just so you know, I still have doubts about him. And this whole thing just proved my fears. This is a sign that he isn't good for you. Please! But you don't get to choose what is good for me. It's my life. Allow me to live my life as an adult. I can make my own decisions. And if I make a mistake, I will learn from it. Just leave me alone. Stop trying to control me. Even though I know how costly the mistake is. I don't care. I don't care. I'm an adult. Honey, please. Please open the door. Let's sort this out. Leave me alone. Go. Honey, please open the door for me, please. Huh? Open the door. Let's talk about it. Please, honey, please. Don't do this to me, honey. Honey, please, I'm your mom. Leave me alone, mom. Leave me alone. Honey, please, I beg you, open this door. Hey, can we talk? You? Hi. You? Wait, have you been following me? I think we got up on the wrong foot and I wanted us to talk. Talk about what? I don't have any business with you. Can we just go have drinks somewhere quiet and talk? You must think I'm stupid to have any conversation with you. Can I make this clear already? He has moved on. Move on and let us be. That's the thing. Kemen hasn't moved on. Kemen hasn't moved on. He just said that because he didn't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, he's that nice. Okay? You and I both know Kemen still loves me. You can see it in his eyes. At this point, you are being delusional. He made his choice and he chose me. <sighs> Obviously, you don't love Kemen as much as I love him. Just leave him so we can be happy together. I made a mistake. And I don't love him. No, you don't. If we had not lost contact, you would have not even been with him at the first place. So don't do this again, okay? Hello. Hi.
Where did you go with my car? You weren't even picking your calls. Somewhere, mom. And somewhere. I hope you're not going about disgracing yourself by begging that boy to marry you. I really do hope you're not stooping so low by putting yourself on a man who doesn't want you anymore. Mommy, Kevin and I had something special going on. We ruined it. I am not throwing myself on just any man. I am fighting for my man. I knew it. I knew your stepping out this morning has something to do with that stupid boy. I didn't put up a fight the first time. But now, I am fighting for what is mine. I won't let her have him. Not on my watch, mommy. You will fight over a man? What a shameful thing for you to even say. Honey, I raised you up well. You are a queen! I mean, you should learn to carry yourself as such. I'm a queen, mommy, and that is why I'm fighting for my territory. I won't let someone take what belongs to me. I am going to possess my possession. And please, mommy, stay out of my business this time. Respect yourself! Res respect yourself, honey! Stop going after somebody who doesn't deserve you! What is this? Something I try hard to swallow. How can I un la 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 you? How can I un la 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 you? I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine not loving you. I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. Hey. Hi, Ben. Hey. You're back. Yeah, I am. How are you? Hi. Fine. How are you? I'm good. How was your day? It was fine. What? It was good. It was fine. Just a little bit stressful, though. Oh, sorry, baby. Mm. Do you know, honey, I asked me today, after you dropped me off at the mall. What? She fought you? No, she didn't. That's because I did not allow my emotions to get the best of me. But why would she come after me? What for? I'm so, so sorry, babe. But how did she even get your whereabouts in the first place? I have no idea. But I think she might have told us. Like, I was so embarrassed by the drama that she put up. I just wanted to tell you, but I told her not to come near me again. It's okay. All right. Um, I'm glad you didn't react. Thank you for being so much. Of course, I'm emotionally intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Oh, I know, rather. <laughs> <laughs> So, babe, uh, I was going to ask you for something. I really didn't want to, but I saw this really beautiful hair today. And I could not get it because I didn't have enough money. But I really want it. How much was it? 350k. Hmm. Okay, I'll send it to you. Just remind me in the morning. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's thank okay. You, thank you. Uh, so my mom told me to thank you for the other day. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's nothing. All right. Come and freshen up. All right. I carry your bag? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Babe, is that you? 
Did you forget something? Babe, did you forget any? What are you doing here? I miss you. Babe, I miss you so much. I know you miss me too. She's not around. I watched her leave. I love you. I miss you. I want to be with you. I can't let her have you. Okay? My life is useless without you. Babe. still love me. I felt it. If you didn't, you wouldn't have made love to me. Why are you still with her? I want to make things right. You can make things right. Tell her the truth. Tell her you're still in love with me. I told you she's my first love. I broke her heart before when we were younger. And I don't want to break it a second time. Kevin, this sounds like guilt, not love. Just tell her the truth. You don't owe her anything. You don't need to be with her to prove that what you had. Come in, just tell her the truth. You don't owe her anything. It's going to hurt, but I hope and I pray that my love for you fades away. I've loved Tolani before, and I can, I can love her again. Love grows. I should have been able to resist you. Please leave. Kevin, are you asking me to leave? I feel so filthy right now, you know? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have cheated on her. Like all she has done is just love me, you know? She will never cheat on me, she won't. Good. Thank you. You like it? Yeah. My money well spent. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so babe, I just wanted to say thank you for making me happy always. Plus, I know you really didn't want me to leave yesterday. I had a lot of orders and I needed to produce. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, maybe can you sit? There's something I want to tell you. Okay. 
I am. <clears throat> what does it come in? Baby, please, I'm sorry for what I did to you. What is going on? And you let her in. Why? I actually don't have any any reason why I did let her in, but I don't I don't know. But I've not been able to forgive myself for what I did. Please forgive me, baby, because um, Honey and I had sex. I'm so sorry, babe. Please, baby, I'm so sorry. I don't know, I shouldn't have let that happen. I don't know how I even allowed it. I should have had more control of myself. I should have said no, but I, I just couldn't. Why well, you cheated on me with her? Why would you do that to me? Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I, please forgive me, I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> you what? You do? You just, you forgive me? Yeah. I mean, if you, if you didn't say anything, I wouldn't have found out. But you chose to tell me the truth. So yeah, I forgive you. Baby, thank you. Thank you very much for forgiving me. And look, I promise you, it will never happen again. Never, it won't. I promise. Your phone. What? Your phone. Block her. What? Block her everywhere. Now. I mean, all these your jewelries. Even yes. when you're at home, you love wearing jewelry every <laughs> time. I, I love jewelries. <laughs> Just you know they call you my gold. Yes, <laughs> you can call me that again. There she is, cheap swats, prostitutes. Who are you? Tolani, and I'm Kemet's fiance. I got this mom. I'll talk to her myself. This is the last time I'm going to warn you to stay away from Kemet. He has told you, he chose me. So why don't you stop hovering around him like a fly? Kemen loves me. But it's clear that you enjoy making a fool of yourself. I'm not the one who walked out of his house after screwing. He had sex with you because he's a man and he was horny. So, so don't feel special. This is the last time I'm going to tell you to stay away from Kemen. Because the next time I see you around my man or his house, I promise you I won't be this cordial. I don't know if it's hot water or acid that will meet your face. Prostitutes. I'm ashamed of you. So you went and give yourself to Kemen even when he told you he has moved on? What a disgrace. I thought I could convince Kemen to have me back. Mommy, Kemen is my first love. He chose her over you, honey. He obviously never loved you. Let that stink and let him be. Leave him alone. He never loved you. I know better now. I'll never disturb Kemen. Honey, you are every man's desire. See, another man will come for you. Just let him be, okay? And I can't let you go. This is something I try hard to swallow. How can I un la 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 you? What are you doing here? Baby, I still love you. I can't fight it anymore. 
It's been hard letting you go. You chose her over me? No. My heart chose you. My heart chose you, but how? How do I tell her it is you that I want? I know how. I'm carrying your baby. Tell her I'm pregnant, she'll let us be. Oh my God, you're pregnant? I'm having the baby. Oh my God, go on. Oh, you this woman. This will check time before calling. Ah. Serious. Tell me about it. I've actually forgot about it. You want to call? Yeah, my mom. She had a thousand things to complain about as usual. This late. She doesn't know the time. Don't worry, Jerry. Let's go back to bed. I spoke to mom and she was like, you traveled. Yeah. So you're back? Yeah, I came back two days ago. But ever since I came back to the house, mother has sent me from this errand to the other errand. Bro, that is the reason I ran to your house this morning. That woman wants to kill your younger brother. Shut up. Did she not pay your school fees? Am I the only one she paid school fees for? <laughs> By the way, um, how is telling you? Ash is actually upstairs. Wait, 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 big bro. I don't understand. Tolani is upstairs and you're doing all this chores. Why? I get it. <laughs> I already told you before, she does not like doing chores. I don't mind doing the chores, so I'm doing it. You don't like doing the chores. Big bro, don't see this as an insult or me trying to interfere with your relationship. I'm not saying you shouldn't help your woman in chores, but not doing it while she's upstairs. That is annoying. Are you going to continue being the housemate when you guys get married? Because that's what you are right now. I already told you, when we get married, we will employ a mate to do the chores. Besides, this is the 21st century, bro. The fact that a woman does not like or know how to do chores does not mean or make them less of a woman, bro. Doesn't. This is why people talk about our village people, man. They turn our ladies to slaves. Come on, if you can do it, why don't you just do it? I can't believe you, bro. It used to be you and Honey doing the chores. What happened? That is how it should be. Fine boy, they don't turn into me. Hi, babe. Hey, babe. If young, you're around. I didn't know that. How's your trip? It was fine. Do you want something to drink? No. All right. Well done, babe. Thanks, love. She do the well done. Wake up. Wake up. It's gone. 
you're not going to help me. Hi, Mom. Hello. Honey, you've been working so hard. You need to get some rest. Hmm? I will. It's just I have a lot to do. I have this deadline to meet and I need to make a lot of money so we can go on a vacation to Dubai. Just like I promised. So, hmm. Yes. Um, honey. It's been months now since you stopped talking to Kemen. I haven't seen you or heard you talking to someone. What is the problem? There's no man. What do you mean there's no man? Honey, you're a very beautiful girl. You're pretty. Don't tell me there's no man in your life. All these people in your contact, don't they ask you out? Huh? Why are you avoiding them? Is it because of that man? Mommy, I'm not interested in them. Besides, you know the nature of my job. It keeps me indoors from morning till night. Besides, I'm happy. I don't need a man in my life to prove to you that I'm happy and I'm okay. It's not true. Everyone needs a man. Everyone needs someone in their life. You're beautiful. You need to give them a chance. Go out, catch your phone, see people, play around, then come back home, be happy. I need you to be happy, please. Mm -hmm. I'll go out. I'll catch my phone. But for now, I have to work. Okay, are you promising me this weekend that you go out? I just need you to hang out, talk to people, be happy, and stop burying yourself in work. You need to play. Okay, okay, mom. I will. Okay? Mm -hmm. You go out, mm -hmm. have some ice cream, mm -hmm. go to see places, mm -hmm. go swimming if possible. Please. I will. That's my baby. <laughs> I'll be in my room, okay? Okay, mom. Right. See you. Love a boy. <laughs> you ready, right? I just spoke with her and she said she's coming. <sighs> what? You know, when I first proposed to Honey, I was so sure that I wanted her to be my wife. Okay, and you're not sure about Tolani? I still have feelings for Honey. I don't love, I don't love Tolani. You know, I've been, I've been fighting it for a while now, but truth is, I still dream of her. I still think of her. Then why are you about to propose to Tolani? You should tell her how you feel. Oh, can't do that. Why? She doesn't deserve that. She's been nothing but good. All she has done was just love me. I, I, I feel so guilty that I, that I don't love her the way she loves me. You know what? Twice, twice now, bro, I, I've broken her heart twice. First was when I, I lost, we lost contact because of my carelessness, and the second was when I cheated on her. Wait, 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 wait. You said you did what? <sighs> yeah, I did, but... We'll talk about that later. You see, the thing is that I, I, I owe Tolani my loyalty. Love grows, right? I mean, that's what you said, love grows. So if I stay with her for a while, well, I will grow to love her. Uh, big bro, that's not how it works. If you were meant to love this girl, by now you would have. You guys have dated for months. Yeah, I know I, I suggested that you go for Talani and leave Honey. But that was just because I felt, I felt you guys had a chemistry. 
She's her first love, remember? I still love Honey. Bro, if you don't love this girl, don't marry her. You will never be happy. Never. So, how do I tell her? I'm scared of what she might do to herself. Uh, we're going to figure that out, but first we need to stop this proposal. Yeah. Just wait. She's here. She's here already. Uh, don't propose on that. Get rid of this. She's gonna... Hey. Hello. Uh... Hi, babe. Are you okay? My friend asked me to come immediately. Yeah, so we uh <clears throat> we were Oh uh, we wanted to surprise you. <laughs> surprise me with what? Um so I, I uh I'll get it. Babe, what's going on? Are you okay? Um <clears throat> uh Mr. Man, who are you looking for? Oh, where are we? I said what? See this man. Mm. Sorry, who are you? So Tolani. This is true. This madness. You know, I actually trailed you here to. <laughs> to ah, you are okay. I mean, are you alright? Because this, this thing is just. I thought. What am I even thinking? Because if you're mad, you're mad. It just only gets crazier. I did not bring our daughter here because I knew that once you see her, your madness will start all afresh. Well, I don't know the victim that you're trying to deal with here right now. But this woman is married. Legally married to me. Legally married to me. But because she's a nymphal maniac, she wouldn't just keep her... Keep herself together. Can you believe that this... this it's too so low to just keep it with a delivery boy. A delivery boy! That, that's even just one. I'm very certain she probably should have slept with mechanics and cabbages and all of the rubbish. That, that's, that's who she is. That's who she is. I mean, because she never gets enough of it. I think I'm not satisfied. I think, I think, I think, I think you're not doing too well. I think you need to handle me that. Who rides like a horse? That's what she wants. That's what this crazy woman wants. I mean, you can't say anything, right? Because whatever she says, you don't believe her. She's a pathological liar. She's trained. She lies for a living. I'm certain she will have been taking a lot of money off you. Making a lot of money off you. My mother this, my mother. This is a poor church rat. I took you in, Tolani. I fed you. I gave you everything. Everything. I made sure you were comfortable, Tolani. I made sure you didn't have to cook because you didn't even know how to cook. I made sure you didn't have to do any of the house chores. I gave you everything because you, you were good at nothing. And your oh, wife could cook. Wash, do no more house chores, but not, not Tola. I give you house off, you know. I give you house. Oh, your ring is off, so that your victims don't get to know. <laughs> which, which one of you is the victim here? Oh, I see. Miss Flash, she's a whole lot of package, a package that you wouldn't want to handle. Tola. You know, I could snuff the life off you this minute. Uh, okay, okay, Mr. Man. Olga? Hello? Uh-huh. Listen to me. Stay out of this. Yeah, of course, our house. Excuse me, you cannot do that in my house. Well, I'm too civil for all of this madness. <laughs> well, this is good riddance to bad rubbish. You want to jump from one man to another? Job. Be my guest. They're two here. I'm sure the two of them can satisfy you properly. <laughs> can you go now? 
you know, if I... <laughs> You're not even want me laying my hands on you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I can explain. Just, okay, just, just let me explain. I don't love him. I've never loved him. I, I was forced to marry him. Give me, please, give me. Nifu. Give me, please. Nifu! Please. Nifu! Please. Excuse us, can you leave the house? The show just exists. Just, just, just let me explain, please. Just, just, just. Nifu. I said it every day. You don't want to see the other side of me. You have to just take, 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 take. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies first. Send the man at the perfect time. It's official. I have bad luck. Maybe I'm not supposed to get married. You should not draw that conclusion in just one field relationship. Maybe I should have been patient with, with honey. Maybe I should have. She'd have just waited, been patient with her mother. You should not blame anyone. You did the right thing. See, bro, you can find another girl. There are lots of girls there. I don't want another girl, don't you get it? I want honey. Just honey. Do you think she'll still want me? That's not possible. It's been months since you guys broke up. I'm sure she must have moved on by now. Well, I would give up. I would try. This time, I will fight for us. I won't give up. Because somewhere in my heart, I believe she's my wife. Bro, um, I'm sorry, but don't see this as an insult. What did this girl give you? Like, what team honey do you? There are lots of girls out there, and yet you are always talking about honey this, honey that, I can't let... I said it before, I don't want any other girl. You know what? I won't listen to you this time. I won't listen to you this time. I will fight for her this time around. I say you're too fine for this. Bro. No. You have to take it easy with this alcohol. You know, so you know, get head for alcohol like me. I'm sorry. Please stop crying. Eh? The, the good thing is that you finally left. See, don't, don't worry. We'll do everything possible to win the custody of these children in the court. Okay? Are you sure? He threatened that I would never set eyes on my children again. <laughs> he can't do anything. <laughs> uh, oh God. Auntie Amaka, it's okay. Please, please stop crying. I know it's difficult, but we have enough evidence of your husband's maltreatment. We'll take that to court and present it to them. I'm sure with that we can win the case and you'll get custody of your children. Please. Exactly. He's a beast. An animal in human form. He's nothing like his elder brother. His, his elder brother treats his wife like a queen. If that woman is very happy. Uh, he tried to make my husband repent. But I married a wicked person. 
who will never change. How I wish he's like his elder brother. Um, please, I'm begging you. It's okay. All right? <laughs> the good thing is that you came out alive. And I promise you, I will do everything within my power to get those children back. Okay? So, to, listen, let me tell you, all you need now is to rest and heal. Okay? Please. Sister, please. All I want are my children. <laughs> please. I endured all this maltreatment this long because of them. Please don't let him take them away from me. Please don't. <laughs> you have me now, I promise you. I won't take those kids away from you, okay? And where do you think you're going to? Good afternoon, ma. What do you want? Please, ma, I want to see honey. Listen, I won't have you come here and complicate her life like you, you just did in the past. I don't want to see you here again. Leave her alone. Not just when she, she, she wants to pick her pieces. I beg of you, please, leave her alone. Ma, that's the thing, I can't. Please. I've tried, but I can't. I want to just see her. But you have another woman now. I don't want anybody harming my daughter just because of you. Ma, leave. Ma, no, Ma, with, with all due respect, Ma, I, I, I won't leave. I won't leave. I, won't, I, won't, I, I love honey so much. Uh, look, I won't let you come in between us like you did the other time. Please, Ma, I won't. I would only stay away if she tells me herself that I should stay away. I just want to see her. You can't see her. She's not around. Just leave. Ma, the reason why I came here is because I've been trying to call her, but she's not picking my calls. Please, Ma, when she comes back, just help me tell her that I, that I came, please. Love is to be leave. in their separation. You must really love her so much. Um, a, a, a dispatch rider brought this for you. From who? Chairman Elliot. Why did you accept it? Because I'm tired of denying the fact that you still love him. I don't love him anymore. Even you don't believe what you just said. Tell me, why haven't you agreed to go on a date with those men? Because I don't like any of them. Or because you still love Cayman so much. Mommy, please, 
I'm not interested in that package. Just return it. Send it back. And besides, since when did you start being the advocate for this relationship? I thought this was what you wanted. You never wanted us to be together in the first place. Honey. I have learned a very big lesson everything that has happened so far. Never to judge people from where they came from. And I guess you learned from Amaka. Yes. Her husband maltreated her. And treated her like a slave. But his brother treated his wife differently. This goes to show that people are different. Maybe I misjudged Kame. It's too late for that now. We're broken beyond repair. I don't love Kame anymore. And I want nothing to do with him. So send that back, mommy. Please. Okay. Just have a look at what he sent. Pick your call. Oh, honey. Mommy, what? Can you just stop? Honey, please don't cut. Please listen to me. Let's just meet and talk, please, honey. This is her mother. Come to the house. Wait, what? I said, come to the house immediately. Honey, I don't like what you're doing. No. I don't like what you're doing. I don't want to be a part of this. I want nothing to do with him. Can you just send it back? doing here? Why are you here? Uh, honey, I, I know I hurt you badly and I'm so sorry. I never stopped. Look, I really don't want to hear this. You chose your first love over me. So what, what exactly are you doing here? Yes, I know. It may appear as if I chose her over you, but in all fairness and all sincerity, my heart never stopped beating for you. I'm sorry. You humiliated me. You embarrassed me. You threw my love in my face, even when I apologized. I came all the way for you to let you know how sorry I was. I was ready to fight for us. I know, and I'm sorry. Honey, I'm so sorry that I didn't acknowledge your apology. Honey, if you can, if you can just forgive me this one time, I promise to, to atone for that one mistake forever. If you would just forgive me. Sorry for allowing my mom to come between us. I'm sorry for giving up on us. Thank you so much. I think this belonged to someone. Mommy, what is it? What's that? <laughs> Honey, <laughs> I want to spend my forever with no one else but you. It's okay. 
Aduh. Yeah. <laughs>